Hello, and welcome back to the farm. Right, so I normally like to start off my vlogs by saying what a nice morning it is. But today, it's pretty miserable outside. The rain's been falling all night, and checking the forecast, it's pretty much going to be intermittent throughout the day. Uh, but then again, it is spring, and that always brings a lot of uh, rain. So it's been a while since my, I've been recording my videos. It's been about three months. Uh, a lot's happened. Not much farming, I'm not going to lie, through winter time. Just looking after the cows. But my house was finally finished. And I spent my 10,000 and it kept me quite busy whilst furnishing the house. So let me just give you a little tour. So this is the living room slash kitchen. Um, all new equipment, utilities inside, brand new TV and surround sound. I've got a few rooms off the side, toilet, all that kind of stuff. And then this is the room I've been using. Got TV in here as well. I'm actually really happy with it for what um, it cost me. It's actually a really good deal. I'll have a quick look outside while it's raining. You may as well. So this is just a little back garden area that I've got. I have to keep on top of the grass. A few bits and bobs. Furnished it quite well for the money I had. This is the front garden area. Put some garden lights in. Um, does a really good job lighting up the driveway at night time. So yeah, it's come along really nice. Actually really happy with the outcome. Um, let's talk about money then. So, I've spent 3000 on repaying the mortgage whilst I was taking a little break from videoing. And I've also paid a thousand pound of the loan off, so we're sitting quite nice now. Uh, repayments have obviously gone steady, and we just need to make sure we keep on top of that. And yeah, the loan's still there, but it's obviously we're eating away at it, which is good. So this is the little garage area. I've put the trailer in here that I bought for Merle. You know, it sits up quite nice, just the perfect size in here. Right, so we'll go and have a look around the farm. There's a bit to do to feed the cows, clean out the area. Little bits like that. I want to go up to the shop today. I want to buy something from the store. I'm thinking of getting a little milk container because the cows have started producing milk now. So the last time I did a video we had nine cows. We've now got 13. So the herd's growing. Uh, they're doing really well. They're happy. They kept quite nice over winter. And they're obviously starting to give me milk now, so I've been milking them. I've already milked them this morning. Um, I'm going to usually milk them later on in the evening. So I think we need to get a milk container, just a small one. Um, normally I'd try and set up with a dairy where they come and pick it up, but because we're not producing enough, it's going to be our responsibility to take the milk and sell it. Um, eventually as the herd grows, we can set it up where they'll come and pick up with their tanker. Um, it makes more sense to do it like that. But um, it's just not worth it right now for them. They, they, I know for a fact they wouldn't accept that. So if we're only selling small amounts, we, we have to take that ourselves. So we definitely need something there. They've produced quite a lot of manure that's sitting here. So this is only going to build up until I get a manure spreader. So that's probably something we need to try and find this year. I also want to try and find a feed mixer. I think we need that this year. We're also doing really well on tractors now. We've got three and they're doing pretty well, they've kept well, I haven't had any issues with them, I've only used them a little bit obviously because I haven't done much field work, If well I've done no field work, but I haven't done much work with them, um, I've been using the farmer, it's got a front loader attachment so I've been using that quite a bit, um, I haven't really used the 1934 yet so I'm excited to use that on the fields, uh, but we're doing okay, we, we really are, we're doing okay. So I've got a few plans uh, that I want to discuss. One I'm not 100% sure about yet, we're going to see how the farm goes over the year. But the first thing I want to be doing is I want to try and get some chickens on the farm. I'm thinking it would be a good idea to start making some eggs. Um, I don't know how much it's going to cost to get a pen set up. Probably going to have to speak to someone, see if we can get like a quote, um, design an area to put it in. And then, you know, if we can get a big enough pen we might be able to get enough chickens. I could go and buy a coop now myself. Uh, but, uh, you know, a chicken coop, you're only keeping about 10 in, maybe, depending on the size. 
I want to try and maybe get a few more than that, maybe 30 chickens. So, yeah, the plan today is we're going to go to the shop. We're going to do some work with the cows. Depending if the rain stops, we might be able to have a look at the fields to think about what we need to do there. Definitely need to fertilise these at some point. They're all cultivated, ready to go. Temperature and obviously the ground's not right yet to start planting our next crop. Been thinking about barley as an option. Maybe barley in the fields, give us some straw. We can make some money off straw. Um, we can store a few bales away as well. I've had no contact with Earl. Uh, hopefully he's okay, but I'd like to discuss with him at some point maybe what he wants to do with his field that we did corn in. He said to me last year that he was up for doing that same kind of thing again, so I'm up for that. That's some more income, and obviously he makes money off it as well. So that's definitely going to be something down the pipeline. But yeah, there's going to be a lot. I've got a lot of ideas for the year, and hopefully we'll be making quite a bit more money and we can expand. Like I said, good to get some different kind of animals on the farm. Uh, the cows are going to naturally grow as, uh, and the herd is going to naturally grow so we don't have to worry about them. We just need to make sure we keep looking after them. Right, so let's crack on. I think best do some work with the cows. Uh, we, I've just given some water so we don't need to do that. I uh, probably need to go and get a bale. A straw for the bedding. Get some another bale of uh, silage. And we'll give them that. And that should... Yeah, they should be happy then. And then we'll pop up the shop. So... What I'll do, in fact, we'll use a New Holland. Right, so we've got a silage bale, I'll just pop this here. And then what I'll do is I'll go and get a straw bale. And I'll get the fork out. And we'll start spreading it around. At some point as well, we need to get some more materials for the farm. We obviously need some more seeds, so we're going to have to try and find some seeds. Uh, if we get barley, then we know we need to get some barley seeds. Um, also, we might need some fertilizer, things like that. I think I'm okay for lime. Also, the ground doesn't need... Sp uh, we don't need to spread any lime, so that's that done. Uh, but we definitely need to get some more fertilizer. I think I'm running really low on that. I've just got that big bag there. Got some in the spreader, which is obviously good. A bit of herbicide as well. Don't know how much we're going to need, but we need to keep um, an eye on our money to make sure we don't spend more than we've actually got. And the portal cabin went, so I sent that back. So that's gone, obviously. Don't need it anymore, thankfully. What I'll do now, quickly, is I'll go and do all the work that I need to do around this, and then I'll cut back in after. Right, so I've done that. Uh, spread the silage around. Put that in the feeding trough. Can't wait to get a feed mix, so I won't need to do that then. Saves a lot of manual labour. Um, I've done it with a straw as well. Got inside. Spread it around the best I can. There's a bit left in the straw, so a bit left in the bale. So that's that done. That's the main thing done for the day, animal work wise. So I think we'll go up to the shop now. I'll drive the farmer. Yeah, it shouldn't be um, a massive tanker that we need, just some kind of container. So yeah, we'll take we'll take the small tractor. It's been a while since I've been up to the shop. It's been a while since I've been anywhere, really. I, mean, I haven't seen anyone. I haven't seen Vernon. I haven't seen Earl. I haven't seen Roman. Kind of just kept myself to myself. Alright, so I'll just pull up outside. We'll go and have a look and see what they've got. Hopefully, they've got quite a few options for me. I mean, it's always um, 
just depends really on what they've got in stock without them delivering it in. I'd like to get it today if possible. Right, okay, so this is what I've decided to go for. Uh, they, they had a couple in stock, but some were a lot more expensive obviously in a uh, bigger quantity. There was one that was even smaller than this. I think this is ideal for us. Uh, it cost me £750, so we pay for that. This is now ours. It's brand new as well. Um, and I think it'll just hold what we need. Probably need two trips. Uh, in the, since I've been milking the cows over the winter, um, I've got about 5,000 litres in the tank. So, we really need to start selling that now. So we'll just take it and we'll go fill it up with the milk. Probably have to do two trips. Put that in there, that's it. Yep. Yeah, we'll probably need to do two trips to the dairy and back. And then we'll get a bit of our extra income. And then at some point, probably later on tonight, when I get a chance to sit down. I'll have a look online, see who the best company is to approach to get a quote for, you know, creating us um, a chicken coop area, fenced off area as well. And we'll get some kind of idea of how much money we need for that. I think that should be the first step, get some chickens on the farm. And then the equipment that I need after we can have a look. We're probably going to have to buy it online. I don't know what Werner's got in stock at the moment. I don't know. I haven't been up at all to see. Uh, we could pop round at some point just to see if he's got anything that we need in stock. Um, but we definitely don't need any more tractors anyway. Should be good for a while now with tractors. Right, so I'll pull up just outside it and then I'll fill it up. So that should be fine there. Right, so I'm going to have to go inside the parlour, get all the connections ready, um, hook it up, and then we'll fill it up and I'll cut back in after. Right, I'm just putting the lids back on. Right, so we're full. We've got 2,000 litres of milk, so we're going to do two trips. I think I've got like 5,000 something, so we're going to have, after two trips we're going to have just shy of 2,000, so we'll wait until we're at 2,000 and we'll do a third trip another day. So I wonder how much money I'll get. So that's that done. We're now at £12,288, so we made um, quite a little bit of money from that. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I was speaking to the guys um, in the dairy, and the price of milk right now is actually really good. So we've uh, just sold it at the right time. And the tanker, that'll do a really good job. Um, so happy with that as well. So I'll just park this up. Right, so there's not much else to do on the farm really at the moment. Um, yeah, done all the animal work um, with the weather being what it is. Can't really do much else. So I'm probably going to go inside, take it easy, have a look online, see what price we can get for a chicken coop or something like that um, so we can get some animals on the farm 
But hopefully this rain will stop soon. Hopefully. It's really, really getting bad. I mean, it hasn't stopped for the past probably four hours. Is that a police car? It is a police car. Best go. See what he wants. Maybe he doesn't realise that I've got a house now. I'm not in the port cabin. Oh, he's here now. He's seen me. I'll go speak to whoever it is and see what they want. Afternoon, PC Bridge. Everything okay? What can I help you with today? Afternoon, Scroft. I'm just here to give you a quick update about the incident with the tractor and obviously the guy that we had in custody. There's been some developments, so I thought I'd come round and update you on it. Ah, interesting. Okay, so what developments have you had? The driver of the white van that we have in custody, it took a while for him to recover from his injuries. He's admitted to stealing your tractor. Actually, he's also admitted to quite a few other thefts that we had at different farms. But the one thing he hasn't admitted to, and he's adamant about, is that he didn't set the tractor on fire. What he has told us is that he was working for somebody else. This person hired him to steal different pieces of equipment from several farms. But the only thing he can tell us for sure is that the person had a yellow truck. So I'm here today to tell you, if you see a yellow truck, you need to ring us immediately. Okay, so do you know anything at all about the person with the yellow truck? Have you got any information? Is he local? No, Scroft, sorry, we have absolutely nothing. The good thing about all this is we found the guy that stole the tractor. He's now going to be prosecuted for the crime that he committed on this farm and to several other farms. So you don't have to worry about that at all. Okay, not a problem, PC Bridge. If I see anything, I'll contact you immediately. So thanks again, I'll let you get on your way. Okay, see you later. And remember, ring me if you see anything. Will do. So that's interesting. Also quite worrying. So let me just recap that. So, someone with a yellow truck was paying that guy, I guess, to steal pieces of equipment from farms around the area. He then dropped my tractor off, I guess, and the guy did something with it. Maybe set it on fire for some reason. Why would he set it on fire, though? I'm so confused. Yeah, so it's just raised a load of questions and I haven't got many answers. All we know is the guy did steal my truck but he was doing it for someone else. Anyway I'm going to leave the video there thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. So I wonder where that person is with the yellow truck. <laughs>